The doomsday clock was just updated and it signaled humanity is closer to self-destruction than ever. It's an indication of extreme danger and an unmistakable warning. The doomsday clock is a metaphor for how close humans are to annihilating ourselves. Scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project began the clock to warn of self-destruction from things like nuclear disaster. The closer to midnight, the closer to the end. The clock was first set to seven minutes to midnight in 1947. During the nuclear arms race in 1949, it was three minutes to midnight. After the Cold War in 91, it was set to 17 minutes to midnight, the furthest the clock has ever been. Now, the clock is set to 89 seconds to midnight, one second closer than last year. That number is not meant to spark fear. It's meant to motivate and create urgency around issues affecting humanity, like the climate crisis. In 2024, Earth's average temperature rose 1.5 Celsius above pre-industrial levels for the first time ever. We have officially passed the threshold set by governments in 2015 to avoid the worst of the climate crisis. Scientists say if the planet maintains this average long-term humanity will be out of the safe zone. But if we reduce greenhouse gas emissions to a level where the atmosphere sustainably could remove them, global temperatures would begin to stabilize. Hope isn't lost though. Not only have we seen a global shift towards a low carbon economy that will be hard to stop, but regular people like you and me are taking action. In 2023 in Montana, a bunch of kids sued the state over climate change and won. The state's top court decided that Montana is violating its citizens' rights to a clean and healthy environment and is now required to assess greenhouse gas emissions for all future fossil fuel permits. The case showed that we could address climate change through the courts. Right now, more than a dozen cities, counties, and states are suing major oil giants for their contributions to climate change. Nothing has happened yet, but the Supreme Court blocked the company's appeals, allowing the cases to move forward. Actions like that can make a huge difference.